Dear Board of Directors, Head of School, Parents, Teachers, Students, and the entire AIS community, on behalf of Equans International School, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome and thank you for your presence at our 7th PYP graduation ceremony. First, I would like to welcome and congratulate our graduates for completing this excellent holistic education program. The journey has been delicate with trials and tribulations, starting online, then on campus and back online, but you could not give up. You worked so hard, we have reached remarkable heights, and I thank you so much. I thank you for being courageous. You completed the exhibition successfully, worked on your class and homework projects with sheer determination, and you have triumphed. Thank you. I thank the teachers for their efforts. Like any production behind the scene, there has been huge commitment to ensuring that each student gets the best enriching experience at AIS. You, your dedication has been enormous. Thank you. To our parents, I welcome you to this special occasion. I cannot thank you enough for the tremendous support of your child's education. To the entire AIS community who have been part of this journey, we appreciate all your contributions. And back to the graduates, I would like to inform you that MYP is full of fun, exciting things. But today, take time to celebrate. Just as your parents and teachers are proud, each one of you, you should feel proud of yourself. So congratulations to the graduates. Congratulations to our parents, congratulations to teachers, and to the entire AIS community. I welcome each one of you to this great occasion. At this moment, I would like to invite Ms. Amina, who is our head of school, to address our graduates. Dear AIS family, this batch is so incredibly special to me for so many reasons. You're all another feather in my hat as head of school for Acorns International School as I mark 10 years at AIS. You are the seventh cohort that I'm graduating today as PYP graduates. I trust that we've prepared you well for secondary school and that you will reach your full potential we are confident that you are ready for this big transition from the familiar phases and surroundings of primary school to the new routines, new teachers, and the classmates of secondary school. Congratulations, PYP6, on officially graduating from your primary school years. It does not seem that long ago, when we first met, you when you had just commenced your journey here at AIS. And yes, you're all grown ups in so many ways, physically, socially, cognitively, emotionally. Ruben, Matthew, Amy, Christian, Tyra, Stanley, Apio, and Odongo. I think you've always been at AIS. You've always started your journey in EC1 and EC2, and rest of you all have joined to become such a huge cohort of 58 students. Wow, unbelievable how far we've come. I feel privileged to have witnessed your journey at AIS from your young, inquisitive little wings to grown-ups who are testing their limits by trying stand-up comedy, drumming, showcasing extraordinary leadership skills, or be it trying new science experiments at school. Sometimes I have been scared of you, but most times I was only fascinated and thrilled with the amount of energy, enthusiasm, and passion you all have. Do what interests you. You will be making important choices over the next few years. Eventually, find what you love to do and pour yourself into it. You will be at your best when you're happy and when you feel the true joy. Do what you love to do and make it your passion. Remember that middle years program MYP is another journey where you will have different experiences, new experiences, some good, some bad, happy, sad, forming and breaking of the relationships and so much more. You will also enter a new phase of teenage life during this journey. Your ability to use freedom and independence will be tested and so much more. But the best part is we will be all together in this. Remember, to be better versions of yourself with every passing day. 
will continue to embark on this journey of MYP together and spread our wings far and high. One most important aspect of MYP program will be e-assessments. They are rigorous and standardized summative assessment to motivate teaching and learning, and they're externally marked, which most universities around the world wants to see. They measure what really matters in today's world, strengthens the teaching and learning, and not only in MYP 4 and 5, but actually we are able to plan backwards and align the curriculum all the way down to MYP 1. It provides very valuable and relevant feedback to parents and most importantly, celebrates learning with fun. It is authentic, interactive for all our students and prepares them for the advanced version of the digitalized world. When students were taking these exams this year, I looked around, I could see exams coming to life on a computer, which is completely opposite of how we have interpreted and articulated exams in our lives. By the end of e-assessments, students are reflecting, critically analyzing, communicating with appropriate vocabulary, and most importantly, they are very keen to learn. I honestly haven't seen anything as highly professional and as relevant as e-assessments. Also, not to forget that these international qualifications are very valid all around the world. Add to this e-portfolios and personal projects, and imagine yourselves as global citizens who are knowledgeable, thinkers, principled, open-minded, reflective, communicators, risk-takers, and balanced people. And once you achieve this, I am sure that the vision and mission statement of AIS and the values of AIS of being responsible, pluralist, multilingual, environmentally sensitive, and lifelong learners, and that's how you become a global citizen and hopefully the ambassadors of AIS around the world. So students, fasten your seatbelts. All that we have learned in our IB journey and the MYP journey, we are going to pour it in here for you and you all will be the recipients of that. Make most of this quality education that you've been privileged with and prepare yourselves for the global standards. You might not remember any single thing that I've just said, but remember, look around your friends, and this day, something that you will always remember, year six graduation day will not come again. There will be only just one of this kind. When this event is around, over, look into the eyes of your parents or your grandparents, your siblings and family members or whoever who helped you to get to this day. Thank them. Tell them that you love them. Savor the moment. Enjoy your next challenge of MYP and embrace it with commitment, responsibility, and passion. Happy graduation day to all of you. Congratulations again, and I hope that you enjoy the rest of the event. Bye-bye. Thank you so much, Ms. Amina, for the great remarks. You have always been a pillar to this great institution. At this moment, I would like to invite Lona Amodeng, the Year 6 CEDA representative, to come and give her speech. Good day, everyone, and thank you for gracing our graduation with your presence. My name is Lorna Amodin. On behalf of my class, Year 6 Cedars, I would like to thank you for being here to support us on such a special day. I would like to thank the Year 6 class of 2021 for making adjustments of learning on Zoom and finishing the race. Well done, my friends. I know that we all wish we'd graduated the normal way, with a huge crowd around us and lots of celebration, but these are not normal times. And I want to congratulate my classmates, our teachers, and parents for rising up to the occasion and embracing the new way of learning. We've all faced different challenges when attending classes, like interrupted networks, high internet charges, loss of physical touch with our friends, so much screen time, ETC. But there have also been good things, like not having to wake up so early and not having to spend so much time in traffic. And I want to say thank you to our teachers. You have walked with us from day one. You have held our hands and watched us grow until we didn't need you to hold our hands anymore. We have learned so much from you, and we will be eternally grateful. And to my classmates, we have learned so much from each other and we will continue learning from each other even as we continue to the next phase of MYP or secondary. And to our amazing parents. I know 
they say time flies. So thank you for nurturing us and supporting us all the way. We treasure you all so much, and we promise to go on and achieve great things. Graduation is a bittersweet experience. Some people will stay at Acorns and continue their education, while others will leave. But I know one thing for sure. We will never forget the lessons we learned while at this great institution, and we will hold them dear to us. Thank you, and congratulations. Thank you, Lorna, for those special remarks. Dear parents, it is now time to proceed to the moment we've all been waiting for, the presentation of our year six seaters graduates. Let's begin. Alicia Adat. Kai Aruo. Lorna Amodin. Iqbal Mohammed Alata. Simba Omieno. Talia Ahmed. Aditya Modi. Sienna Giovanni. Arumala Janvi Reddy. Elijah Tashovia. Mikhail Megani. Alia Kunjani. Amy Kisaka. Jemima Kiara Asengo Ariko. Ruben Niombi. Jeremiah Germain Mulijo. Elizabeth Keisha Sebaduka. Another big congratulations to all of our year six seaters who have made this huge accomplishment. We are so proud of each one of you. Let us now proceed to hear from our year six seaters homeroom teacher, Mr. Robert, to share a few words. Hello and welcome to the graduation ceremony of this lot of the year six of 2021. My name is Robert Suna and I'm the homeroom for year six seaters. I would like, uh, first of all, to congratulate the candidates uh, who have graduated today and, of course, to equally congratulate the parents, the teachers, the administration uh, for being able to reach this milestone. Of course, the pandemic has posed uh, lots of challenges to all of us and, you know, the world over. But it has also presented us with quite a number of opportunities. And specific among these is the integration of technology into our teaching and learning. I remember uh, when we, we first went uh, into the lockdown last year, the head of school emphasized to our uh, heads of departments that we would have to implement all the programs which on the school calendar, you know, and we were left wondering <laughs> how we would be able to do it as teachers because this was something very new uh, to us. But thank God, you know, we've been able uh, to think outside the box and uh, to pull it off. Today, you're graduating on Zoom. Uh, we've been able uh, to prepare the exhibition uh, preparations and presentations on Zoom. Of course, the Zoom lessons, uh, Google Meet, and all the other softwares uh, that we've challenged 
uh, the learners to be able to, to use. Uh, we've, of course, faced uh, some challenges as well, you know, especially uh, the, the frequent power cuts and, of course, the intermittent uh, internet disruptions, but that has not stopped us from achieving our goals. I want to congratulate the candidates once again, and I wish you uh, the very best as you go up the ladder. Of course, not forgetting our maxim that hard work beats talent if talent uh, does not work hard. Thank you. I now invite Jasmine Yoni from Year 6 Maples to speak to you. Thank you. Hello, my name is Jasmine Yanni and welcome to the year six graduation 2020 to 2021. One of my personal highlights from this year is sports day because it was the first sports day since the lockdown and all the teachers tried to make it as fun and as much as the same as it usually would be. A thank, I would like to give a thanks to all the parents, teachers and students who had helped us all out throughout this whole PYP journey, and a special thanks to the Year 6 teachers, Mr. Nelson, Ms. Carolyn, Ms. Lydia, Ms. Ruth, Mr. Robert, and Ms. Marjorie for helping us throughout the Year 6 journey. One word of advice as all you students move on to MYP is always expect the best and be ready for what the future hits at you. I would like to introduce Ms. Ariana as she names all the graduating students. Thank you. Thank you, Jasmine. It was lovely to hear from you. Dear parents, let us now proceed to the presentation of our Year 6 Maples graduates. Let's begin. Adriel Chinene Luima. <clears throat> Kahira Rakiba Kasuli. Lineid Kristen Nakalanda Namuli. <laughs> Jeremiah Magera. <laughs> Jaden Irembo Rukari. <laughs> Jonathan. Agaba Rusoke. <laughs> Patricia Adiambo. <laughs> Minal Fatima. <laughs> Lakisha Ashaba. Shireen Sultana Chowdhury. <laughs> Mike Archange. <laughs> Kyra Nue. <laughs> Zion Asianat. Osia Bradley Onuoha Michelle Goloba Lucas Mugabe Patrick Birunji <laughs> Matthew Gita Chirabo <laughs> Jasmine Yauni <laughs> Kyle Pomeroy Many congratulations again to all of our Year 6 Maple students for their hard work and perseverance while finishing their primary school studies amidst a global pandemic. 
Let us now proceed to hear from our Year 6 Maples homeroom teacher, Mr. Nelson Chigari, to share a few words. Thank you, Miss Ariana, and congratulations to the class that has just graduated. Wow, the road has not been an easy one. It has been full of bumps. We started on, uh, online, then we moved on campus. At campus, we had only seven risk takers. These seven risk takers were able to attract nearly the whole class back to campus. However, on campus, it was also an uphill task where we had to remind each other to put our mask on, to always sanitize and to keep our social distance. I want to take this moment to congratulate Year 6 for the great job that they have done. The road has not been easy. Exhibition is just but a start of the several milestones that you are going to take in life. However, I want you to continue being risk takers and cooperate with both your teachers, your parents, and your fellow students. Thank you. Thank you very much. At this moment, I would like to welcome Sabir to give the keynote speech about their class. Hello, dear teachers, students, family members, and everyone in the school. You all have played a big role to bring me up till here. And from crash to here is a really big accomplishment. So far, I have graduated twice, once from the ECDC to year one, and now to year six to year seven, I am really proud of you teachers who have given me the quality education I need to come here. You all have such good quality education. It has brought me up to here. And I would like to thank all of you, teachers and everybody. You have done a really great job. I really appreciate everything you have done for us, especially sparing all your time just for us. It is really great. And I would like to thank my teachers, HODs, and my family members for answering all the necessary questions I ask. Everything I've asked and, I've, and my teachers have answered and taught me has brought me further, very further up till here. All of my teachers have done the hardest work to bring me up till here, and I'm grateful for it. Thank you so much, my dear teachers, HRDs, parents, and everyone who has played a big part. Thank you, Sabir, for sharing those words. It is now time to proceed to the presentation of our final year six class, the year six Acacias, Jason Sabu Mursiga. Kayla Mubezi Omer. Audrey Biarugaba. Tyrell Catarega. <laughs> Patricia Katusime Mugabo. <laughs> Christian Nichirize. <laughs> Tyra Arujo. Stanley Nahurira. Odong Gabriel Olupot. Apio Gabriel Alupot. Stephanie Arinda. Janat Namirimo Mwesigwa. Sabir Hirani. Arini Patel.
Vritti Shah. Hadassa Aurora Namawa. Inia Sunder. Rihanna Rebecca Talugende. Divya Naye. Elsie Chirabo. Another big congratulations to all of our Year 6 Acacia students. We couldn't be more proud of you. Let us now proceed to hear from our Year 6 Acacia teacher, Miss Ruth, to share a few words. Hello everyone. My name is Ruth Chisache, teacher of Year 6. Congratulations to our graduates. This is a milestone that they have reached and we are very proud that they have reached this far. About our exhibition journey, we have managed to come a long way since they started their year six, their, their exhibition journey started as well. In their exhibition journey, there has been so many ups and downs, but with teamwork from teachers, parents, stakeholders, and the students themselves, we have managed to make it to the end. This exhibition journey has been a journey of learning and learning and relearning new things. We are very proud that we have produced excellent students according to what they really have put out in their exhibition and to the level they are going to, we are confident that they will make it. Thank you to everyone who has put a stone to make sure that these students are what they have become today and we congratulate them once again thank you and thank you for listening thank you miss ruth for the words of wisdom and for working closely with our students this academic year at this moment i would like to invite hadassah's mom who is our parent representative to come and address the graduates. Hello everyone and warm greetings from me and my family to yours and to the whole AIS fraternity. My name is Dorothy Namawa, mother to one of the graduates, Hadassah Namawa Aurora. And I would want to say congratulations to all the year six graduates. What a milestone you have achieved what a milestone you have achieved amid so much that is going on with the so dark clouds of the pandemic looming around us and uh, the lockdowns the onlines the onlines <laughs> the on and off school the masking the quarantine but the fact that you have made it to the end with a strong finish that is enough for us to say congratulations and this wouldn't have been so without the help of the teachers the administration surely when so many other schools have been closed i just want to say thank you for the administration for seeing it through that we're able to finish kudos to miss amina and all the teaching uh, staff both the teaching and the non-teaching staff we really thank you and to the parents i know you know along with me that this wouldn't have been possible without you being at the end of the line helping and encouraging them thank you parents and i pray that if any of you are going through any any problem any sickness that the lord will give you health all those who have lost their loved ones may god comfort you uh our condolences to Miss Lydia, but to the graduates and everyone, congratulations, kudos for doing your best amid so much that is going on. That said, I know the saying that saying with every cloud there's a silver lining. 
your graduates are the silver lining and if you were able to achieve this amid so much that was so wrong going on the sky is the limit to what you can achieve congratulations and god bless each one of you hoping to see all of you again in year 7 bye bye Thank you, Mami Hadassah, for the words of wisdom to our students. I know they have picked something from what you have shared. At this moment, I want to invite Mr. Evans, our PYP coordinator, to come and address the students. It has been a pleasure getting to witness the growth of this year's six class, from the young and fragile flowers as sunflowers and tulips, to tall majestic trees like cedars, maples, and acacias. So please join me as we review their journey through all their five new years.
And now to welcome Ms. Zoe to usher in the students into their next step of learning. Hello and welcome to the secondary department. My name is Ms. Zoe. I am very grateful to have the opportunity to be here with you on your graduation day. The secondary teachers and I are very much looking forward to working with you next year as you move into the NYP. Lastly, congratulations to you all on reaching such a special milestone. Happy graduation. 